Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect. Pushing his truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. In the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. This is the Baba Yakanan from the GMS England branch. Here I have um this video, this debate taken from the Piers Morgan Uncensored YouTube channel. And this is a debate between Candice Owens and um Rabbi Shamuli, if I'm pronouncing that accordingly. Now, um, you know, Candice Owens, you know, she's um a very popular, you know, media personality, and she's known for her very controversial views, all right, concerning particular subject matter. And in this video, she actually um quotes Isaiah 5 and 20 and Revelation chapter 3 and verse 9 against this um, small hat on the far right hand side of the screen who goes by the name of um, Rabbi Shemuli. All right. She actually quotes those two scriptures against, you know, this particular individual. And, um, you know, this just goes to show that these media personalities, they watch, you know, the videos, okay? They watch the videos, they're more than aware of the presence of the Hebrew Israelites on the highways and the byways, okay? And, um, you know, whether she's controlled opposition or not as the scriptures tell us you can do nothing against the truth but for the truth all right and this is um more confirmation that the vibration of the words of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai no matter what Esau tries to do to suppress this truth you know, the truth of the Holy Bible is always going to rise to the surface, all right? In some way, shape, or form. And these things are going to continue to happen concerning the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai being broadcasted, all right? Because we're in the end. And as the scriptures tell us in um, Matthew um, chapter, um, what's that? 24 and verse 12 no rather verse 14 you know the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached throughout all the world and then the end shall come all right so we're in the midst of the end of Esau Edom's kingdom all right so this word has gone out now without further delay I'm going to play this brief excerpt from the video and then um we'll get into um a few scriptures and of course what this also shows us is that this man Esau Edom is being exposed in these last days as prophecy said he would be now when we go to Jeremiah chapter 49 and verse 10 what does it tell us I have made Esau bare and he shall not be able to hide himself all right well you know what before I play the video let me get that right quick so I don't misquote it and then we'll play the actual video. All right. So this is um Jeremiah chapter 49 and verse 10. And it reads, but I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places and he shall not be able to hide himself. 
his seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors and he is not all right so Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai has made Esau bear in these last days man all right everything about this devil is being exposed and being brought to the surface and that's because it's the time of his judgment and it's the time of his kingdom being ripped from him okay as it tells us in second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 9 Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth all right so we're in the midst of the end of this world all right the end of the kingdom of Esau Edom and that's why all of these things are transpiring upon the earth okay it's because we're in the midst of the end of this man's kingdom all right now let's go back to this video and let's play this brief excerpt this doesn't make sense to me. Gaza is 30 miles long, seven miles wide. It's incredibly dense population. And this is, by the way, according to Haaretz, that 40,000 uh, Palestinians have been murdered. I, I believe they're getting those numbers from the Gaza Health Ministry. And and here's what I would like to, to say to you, Rabbi, since you're, you're quoting scripture, okay? The one that's relevant to me is, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness. And if you'd like to dive into a little more scripture i think what's relevant is revelation 3 9 behold i will make them of the synagogue of satan which say they are jews and are not but do lie and i'm speaking directly to you rabbi shmuley the fact that you would try to say you, i am jewish you. and this is what i believe and and do and say the things that you are doing people can see and hear evil and what you are doing right now is an act of evil the lies that you are telling not just on me but also on my family members are a good example for the world to see what we are referring to when we call something radical zionism all right so you heard you know what she said you know she quoted isaiah 5 and 20 all right and she also quoted revelation chapter 3 and verse 9 now let me get isaiah chapter 5 and verse 20 and let's read it all right let's read you know what she quoted isaiah chapter 5 and verse 20 woe unto them that call evil good and good evil that put darkness for light and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight okay so she quoted that and revelation 3 and 9 in reply you know to this small hat that was involved in the debate okay now like i said as the scriptures say all right you can do nothing against the truth but for the truth, all right? These are scriptures that we bring out during the week, you know, at the camp, all right? These are very, um, if you will, you know, popular scriptures amongst, you know, the Hebrew Israelites, okay? So it's no coincidence that she chose to um, use those two scriptures, um, you know, to, to, um, to cut you know this um this rabbi okay that's no coincidence at all and like i said and like we've been saying these individuals you know these media personalities these lesser illuminaries they they're fully aware of the presence of the hebrew israelites on the highways and the byways and on youtube of course and many other platforms they know okay because you can't you can't you can't avoid you know this word all right it's everywhere you go in some way shape or form okay it this this thing is is global and it's gonna continue to grow through the spirit and power of yahweh by hashem yahweh especially you know at the time when they start to heavily you know slander you know the men of the lord all right so woe unto them that call evil good and good evil that put darkness for light and light for darkness all right so she cut him with this scripture because it fits all right because this is what the small hats this is what the nation of esau edom beginning with the elites are doing all right they call evil good and good evil now when we go to um um isaiah uh, 24 it also speaks about you know the turning of things upside down all right esau is a master concerning the turning of things upside down okay and 
flipping upside his head, you know, anything that you have about Shimi Shai has, um, what's the word I'm looking for, has set it right, all right, Esau loves to try and outdo or undo, you know, the works of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. okay, so that's the nature, you know, of the wicked, all right, is to call evil good, all right, and good evil, all right, because this man, you know, is the physical, the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan, okay, upon the earth, and they're hypocrites, all right, and that's what she's getting into, you know, in this video, you know, their lies, you know, their hypocrisy, so on and so forth, okay, now another scripture that comes to mind, let's get this right quick, is um, the book of Psalms uh, 58, all right, now this is Psalms chapter 58 and verse 3, and it reads, the wicked are estranged from the womb, they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies, all right, and that's what she's getting on, you know, in this some um, interviews, the fact that they are constant, you know, liars. You know, everything they say, all right, when you survey, you know, the information coming out of their mouth, it's all lies. You know, they control the media, they control the narrative, all right, and with that power, they're able to have lies, all right, exalted upon the earth, okay, and, they're, and, and through their witchcraft, all right, they're able to, um, you know, control the narrative, all right, and control what the masses think and believe through the power of the media. But it all goes back, you know, to witchcraft, all right? It all goes back to witchcraft, man. And you can see, you know, when you're looking at this guy's face, when she was bringing out the scriptures and she's cutting him, you know, with a few facts, he was getting cut, you know? And if you watch, you know, the entirety of the interview, which I ain't finished watching all of it, but if you watch a good portion of it, you're going to see how uncomfortable this individual is with these, um, you know, with the information coming out, you know, because he's being exposed, you know, his whole nation is being exposed. All right. Now, if he's feeling like that with a woman, you know, like Candice Owens, you know, putting it upon him, how do you think they feel in regards to the men of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai? On the highways and the byways, as pursuant to Jeremiah 28 and 8. How do you think we make them feel? Okay? Being men, all right? Being bold as a lion, as the scriptures say, and bringing out this truth, all right? They're terrified of this truth. They're terrified of prophecy. They're terrified of the words of Yahweh by Shimi Shai manifesting right before their eyes, man. Okay? And this is proof, all right? This is definitely proof. Now, let's go to the uh, second scripture. That she quoted being uh, Revelation chapter three, and um, and uh, verse nine. All right, now this is Revelation chapter three and verse nine, and it reads, "Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know." that I have loved thee, all right, now, in regards to, um, you know, the Jews that said, you know, they were Jews, but are not, originally, you know, this applied, you know, to wicked, actual Israelites, okay, of our nation, but this is twofold, because now, you know, we can apply it onto the small hats, all right, because they have stepped into, or rather, they have um, hijacked, you know, uh, identity and are now calling themselves, you know, the people of the Most High, all right, the people of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay, so we can apply this scripture onto them, it's twofold, it applies to them, and she brought this out upon him, <laughs> all right, and this just shows you that Esau's power is waning, all right, Esau's power is definitely waning, all right, because on his own, um, you know, media, all right, that he controls, you got this information, you know, being broadcasted, man. All right? Don't think people ain't going to look this up and connect the dots. Okay? This is a beautiful thing. All right? This this man, his power, you know, is coming to naught through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So again, Revelation chapter 3 and verse 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. 
all right? Like we brought out, you know, they lie us from the womb, I, uh, Psalms 58 and 3. But do lie, behold, I will make them to come worship before thy feet and to know that I have uh, loved thee, okay? So again, Jeremiah 49 and 10, you know, I have made Esau bare and he shall not be able to hide himself. These guys are being exposed, all right? And she was even going into all of the wickedness in order to killing, you know, that's been going down, you know, over there in the land, okay? And how they're covering that up, you know, all of the atrocities and, you know, the bloodshed that's being, um, you know, uh, perpetuated out there. So let's bring out, and we'll probably close on this, uh, the book of Habakkuk uh, 2 and 16. All right? These guys are being exposed, man, and it's a beautiful thing. Um, This is Habakkuk chapter 2. And verse 16, and it reads, Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. All right, so we're witnessing the shameful spewing upon the glory of the nation of Esau Edom, all right, upon Amalek. All right, and as the scriptures tell us, um, you know, Amalek uh, is the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. All right, roughly paraphrasing. All right, so Esau is getting ready to be destroyed in these last days, man. All right, these prophecies are being filled, fulfilled. All right, and we're living, you know, in a great time of um, biblical prophecy. All right, so with that, Lord willing, this video has been edifying. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shai. And until next time, I'll say Shalom.